Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox we're playing some more Lumen Legacy as you can see on the screen right now and also we're back on our hardcore account because also like today I was trying to also beat Protagon. We did beat the Battle Theater but I ended up ending the recording obviously the episode um, in the gym still so it said that I could actually redo it even though I already have the, the gym badge because I um, was well, still like in this area so that I guess that's kind of a glitch but anyway ho I'm hoping it didn't glitch anything. Um, can I actually just talk to him again? Can I actually do it again? Oh no, it actually says that I have done it. Okay then, so I can actually redo it. For some reason though it said I could, so interesting. Anyway now, if you go outside also we get also the storyline for Jake also. Meanwhile, ooh. So also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to level up a little bit more. I don't think I'm really like, uh, good enough right now to like level stuff up. Also there's a pro gun, I can't believe I was able to sneak this far. This room is the deepest into the facility I can go. And by the looks of it, it's a pretty important room. Wait, that chunk of stone over there. In that case, there must be one Jeremy mentioned before. What are they doing with it? Yes. Also, I actually think I said in the last video that once I get Luminami, I'm not also going to use um, the item on it that I have, the Drop of Youth, and I can use it on... Actually, I only mentioned one. I, forgot, I can use it on Cray Troll and my Gek Log as well, so I can't evolve any of them. Unless I just so happen to be able to get like enough mastery to evolve my Gek Log, but that might not be for a very long time. Anyway, alright, is everything ready to go? Yes sir, we are just waiting for you because we began the awakening. Wait, that's the owner of the Blue Cop. We ran to him at the end of our tour. I wonder what sort of awakening they are talking about. Alright, let's begin. The first step to awaken our creation and bring it to life begin. Yes sir. Okay, then. So, this is going to be pretty difficult, because also you have to battle it as a Corrupted, which, um, also is pretty damn strong, so, um, we might end up losing a Lumion here, I'm not going to lie. I think what I want to do, though, is I want to use Kraytrol. I might level Kraytrol up a little bit, give it the drop of youth, and just hit it with a Singe. I don't exactly know if that's going to work, though, because also I have very weak defenses, although I have more slightly more range defense so it's not gonna get an it's not gonna get a range attack boost lots to see though the awakening was a successor protagon is live vitals are stable that is excellent news let's run a diagnostic and put it through a few tests before we proceed with phase two yes sir oh yeah there's no greater work in the world, learn what we are doing here at Plutcar. There's also nothing more expensive than running this company, and regardless of any effort we could possibly make, the world will always be plagued by war. It's a tragedy, truly, but the ends certainly justify the means. If all goes according to plan, we will produce an army of enhanced Illumians that will be unstoppable. We sell to the highest bidder, our profits reach never before seen highs, and in turn, we're able to continue making this world a better place with my inventions. I owe a lot to you. Oh, I owe a lot to that mysterious dark stone that fell from the sky. Soon we will know exactly how much more power it possesses than soft crystals alone. I am looking forward to phase two. No way, the Dr. Vanto wants to raise an army? No way, bro, this sounds bad. Yes, so, and also. Now we're gonna go and um, go beat it, which um, I'm definitely gonna have to go level up first. Although we can go get a scarb, let's be honest, we're probably gonna get a scarb. If I get lucky enough to actually get a poo troll, that would be awesome. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a scarb, because also you can only get scarbs down there, and there's a 1 in 10 chance you can get a poo troll. So I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna get a scarb, which I guess is fine. I could actually try and level up. Scorb, try and get that to like level uh, 33 and like because I'm pretty sure 33 is actually the um, the level of the corrupted protog uh, protogon. It's also like I've got higher range defense so it's not going to get a range tag bonus. It doesn't have thunder strike because that's a rally move um, and then I can ha use my own thunder strike or fire breath so that could be a good option maybe. I feel like that would be like the easiest option to be honest is just to Max level of that boy, but also it's going to take. It's actually not going to take that long because we just have to, we just have to like kill things repeatedly in there, which we're going to do anyway because I do need to level up anyway. So I guess that's not a bad idea. Let me think about this slow. Burroach, we we could use Burroach. I don't think it's really like 
that great of an idea though, because also it's more melee defense, so it's going to get a range attack bonus. Um, what does Umbra have? Oh, it's actually like almost tied, although we have way more UPs on range. I mean, we could use Umbra, potentially. Potentially. Um, Sedimars, we can't throw Sedimars out straight away, because also it has, um, and plus my range defense sucks. Um, Slugling we could use as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure it actually has one melee attack, so it's probably going to get this sweep this, to be honest. So, the best looking thing that I have is honestly Kraytrol, which um, I definitely am, I'm going to want to level it up. And I really gotta hope it, it doesn't get one shot, because also look at those defenses, they suck. So yeah, also though, let's go ahead and um, unlock, also we might as well go get Scarb. Also, I'm pretty sure we actually have to nickname something potentially, so also I gotta go get comments. So let's first go get Scarb look here. Well, we, we can assume it's gonna be Scarb. My luck is not that great okay to get myself a poo troll. There is no way. Okay, there's no way, but after, also after this episode, since we're kind of done with the game, I'm probably going to leave Mutagon. I don't really want to fight it right now, to be honest. My team, I don't want it to get sweeped. Um, so, yeah. Also, since I don't want to get sweeped by Mutagon, I don't think it's really worth fighting it, to be honest. And plus, it's, it's optional. You don't really have to do it. So, after this episode, we can start on the one Lumenpedia challenge and try and also beat that Protagon with our Thievine. That's the only thing we're allowed to use, obviously. So, that being said... Let's go get the sushi, and then we can also go get our scarb, which um, I'm hoping is going to be good. So yeah, I think the best strategy is honestly to try and just evolve our scarb, honestly. That sounds like the the best, it the best idea is to evolve scarb. We get a butt ton of defenses for range defense. Our melee, melee defense sucks, but hey, we can also go get fire breath or thunder strike, and then we're good to go. So I think that might be the play. If we get Hunter, or if we get Putrol, I mean Electric type, and we Ward Resist Metal, so that's like also pretty down good. Um, for Thunder Strike though, I'm pretty sure that's a Rally move. I don't think it gets Thunder Strike by level up, so I don't think it actually will have anything to um, deal with it. Also, do I really want to lead off with Bubbles? I mean, if it's Scarb, I don't see why not. Um, let's think about this. Let's think about this, okay. How many discs do I have? We have quite a few. We have, I'll probably hyper disc it. So anyway, let's go. Oh, hi, how's it going? Don't care, let me in please. So I'm gonna try and not battle anyone yet. I wanna try and get Scarb first, okay? So then also we can start leveling up with these NPCs that also have to be. And I guess we'll try and level up Kray Troll because we're probably gonna end using Kray Troll as well because they can do a lot of damage. You have a key card, that doesn't make sense. Well. Good job, I have one. I'm pretty sure you can fight something in this part, right? There we are, Scarb. Easy. There we are. Okay, so obviously, it's a Scarb. It only has Bash, so it can't really hit me that hard. I want a Sleet Shot, but I really don't want to kill it, because this thing will be really, really good for Pro Gun. So I'm just going to throw a Hyper Disc at it, and hope for the best. Also, let me know in the comments down below. Also, what suggestions that you have for Scarb's nickname? Also, if I like it, I'll feature it in that episode, okay? Okay, well, it, it was close. Stay in the disc, man. Stay in. So, yeah, but once we get Scarb, obviously, I'm gonna go and try and, like, grind levels on Bubbles and, like, on my Lumions. I'll probably try and, like, max max everything out at 33. I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to go above 33. I don't wanna make it too easy, but also, I feel like 33 would be fair since, obviously, it's a corrupted. It has higher stats, plus one on everything. It, it should. So, yeah, let me know, also, nicknames for Scarb. Now let's go grab our Scarb, and we're going to start leveling it up, and also, I'm probably going to level up in here anyway, because we are going to need to, like, try and evolve Scarb, so, I mean, yeah, we're going to, like, just want to go get past, so we might as well keep fighting in here, although we might as well go for the um, NPCs as well, but that's fine. Anyway, Lo, we are going to go back to Sephirite City, and also, I think we have, I'm pretty sure that we have a couple of Lumens that we can nickname, so... If we do, I'm, I'm pretty sure we do. I don't exactly remember. I didn't get any nicknames before recording this because I was like, I don't remember if I have anything to nickname. So let's have a quick look and also we'll go, um, I'll go get some comments. So then, pretty sure it's this one, Wally. Nope, or I nicknamed that one. And Bugger. Okay. 
Um, was it only Grubby then? Okay, it was just Grubby that we didn't have a nickname for. Okay, so I, I was right. I'm pretty sure everything else has been nicknamed, right? Um, Kratrol, Floof. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything, Glenn. Okay, Baconator. Then we've got Gekla, which... Yeah, okay, so... so I'm going to put Scob on my team. I'm going to get rid of Umbrat for now because I can't really see Umbrat doing too much. Although, I will probably put back on my team. Um, actually, I guess we're going to get rid of Floof. But, also, they want to try and evolve some of our things, obviously. So, that being said, I'm going to go get an, um, a nickname for Grubby, okay? So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back then. So, for the nickname for Grubby, we're going to go with Furious Cats. Um, which, actually, is to call it... Um, Sir Claws, okay, if we're evolving into Terra Claw, and also, um, I did ask you guys, should I evolve into Terra Fly or Terra Claw, and way more people said Terra Claw, which also makes sense, because it's like a new Lumion, so we are going to go for Terra Claw, so we might as well call it Sir Claws, and with that being said, Lou, um, also, we actually, we aren't going to bring it with us right now, because also, if I want to get Terra Claw, I have to go ahead and evolve Verroach, get the malt item and then give it to grubby and then i can go get terror claw so that's not going to be for a while most likely so with that being said okay we are now going to go back into um the underground area we're going to beat a couple of the npcs um which actually we probably might as well just beat all of them i think right now and then i can just like kind of go grind in there myself i'm just trying to like think low can I have like, anything that's scary for bubbles? Probably. Might be worth me leading off with Sleepy Boy, to be honest. Yeah, we might as well lead, lead off with Sleepy Boy. I think Sleepy Boy will probably be the better uh, Lumion to use to fight them. So now we can go back into the underground. Like I said, I'm just, I'm not gonna go fight the Protagon now. Because if I do, I think I'll actually get sweeped by, um, by literally everything. So um, let's not do that. But what we are gonna do, though, is fight every other NPC in the just also we can like go through it later and after I like, deal with it um, and like I said it's just gonna give us like quite a lot of XP right now so uh, very nice so straight away how's it going man I'm pretty sure like most of them have scarbs anyway so it's like kind of easy levels you yeah, like there's a scarb it only has it only learns bash so um unless it's level 29 I'm hoping it only learns um Bash, otherwise this might be really scary. This might be really really bad. Okay. I didn't realize it was 29. Well, there's a bash Doesn't do a lot of damage. I like that man. Can we just deal with it? Please don't Okay, okay, let's go up down. Yeah, I've kind of forgot these are like pretty like kind of high level We might need to level up a little bit more before we fight these but I think we should be fine If most of them are just like scarbed, we, we should be fine. Okay, hope hopefully There's another scarb nice I don't mind me, man. I'm gonna click Border Blast again. Like, the, as soon as one of them clicks um, Flurry, I'm gonna be in trouble. Because, uh, yeah, it's like a pretty weak move, but foolish. And I don't really have that much range defense on this, okay? Compared to also, like, the PvP ones. So, yeah. I don't know about that one, man. Bash, ow. Why you gotta do that, bro? Get out of here. Very nice. Okay, let's go up down. Okay. And now we can, we can actually just like leave off here and go grind a little bit um, of scarbs. So we've got to kill a lot of scarbs. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can... Oh, oh, power focus. Okay. Is that worth it? Obviously, yes. Obviously, yes. Let's get rid of Br Brace for now. I think Singe is like the only fire type move that we can actually learn. On Kratrol, which is a little unfortunate. Actually, is it? I'm going to actually have a look. Yes, I'll actually take power focus. Did we get any other fire type moves on the Kray Troll? Or do we have to evolve it to get more? We get Fire Slam at 28. But we don't really care about um, melee attacks. We can... We can get Fire Breath. We can get Fire Breath. But... We need to get... I didn't bring the freaking scarb. I left it in the PC. Wait. I did bring my scarb. Why is Brat in my party? Okay, well, I'm going to go get scarb again really quick before I continue. Because also, we want to level that up. I don't know why I have Umbra on me for some reason. Okay, 
now we're back again. I don't know what happened. I went back to my PC and it kind of like reset to when I, as if I never like went into it. Uh, except for like, the group was nicknamed. So, don't know what happened there, but anyway, let's continue okay battling these NPCs, because now we can actually get levels. So yeah, I actually forgot. I, I knew that you couldn't, I couldn't get like a better fire type move, unless it was fire slam, which also, let's be honest, fire slam isn't that great of a move on a, a cray troll. I mean, if it was like Volkalowa, I mean, sure, whatever, but for Cray Troll, no, it has like pretty pathetic, um, melee attack, obviously. Look at that, 34, whereas the range is actually pretty darn good, so I actually f did forget, low that I can rally move Fire Breath. I was like, uh, eh, Cray Troll, I can't get Fire Breath, obviously, nothing I have on my team or in my entire PC box can learn Fire Breath by level up. Until now, we have a scorb. Once we get guard drone, we can get fire breath, and Cray Troll can be used to actually beat Proto Gun. Because I have fire breath and volcanic. So, volcanic is also going to double my fire breath, and we might actually one shot Proto Gun, which I think would be a little bit funny. So, I think that's the way that we're going we're gonna to go okay. Plus, it looks like we're actually going to be able to get Luminami, which I'm going to try and not evolve uh, Reptide because I don't want it to be Luminami for the battle. I think it would be better if it stays as a pure water type, not a light type. So it looks like we'll probably get Luminami on Route 8 or unless we battle Mutagon, which I'm not really too sure if I really want to battle Mutagon, I'm not going to lie. Because technically I can catch it, but at the same time... If I try and catch it, I'm going to lose quite a few Lumions, and I don't know if it's really worth it, man, because a lot of my team is, like, weak to Mega Punch or, um, Frost Punch, so I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, if you look at my team right now, like, three things are weak to Ice. Yeah, I don't know about that one, man, so yeah. Anyway, look. Oh, yeah, it loves a Poochrol. Um, can this thing hit me hard? Quick Pounds? Nope. I'm glad they're first evolutions, although this would be a little bit scary. Pretty sure the boss guy, though, has, like, um... An evolution of something. I'm trying to think of where it is and I don't really remember so I should be a little bit scared I think. There's another Scarb. See you later Scarb. Please get one shot. That would be so good. Yeah, I mean Scarbs are fast but they don't really like have any moves and I only hit twice. Again. Thanks man. Thanks. Hit more than twice. Bash. Nice one. I swear, bro, whenever I use- okay, critical hit, I'll take it back. Whenever I use Border Blast, it, like, never hits 5. Unless I'm in the adventure modes. If I'm, like, in PvP, I don't hit 5 at all. It's like, yeah, you, you can you can hit twice. Maybe three times if you're lucky. Maybe. If I'm, like, playing adventure mode, I have a chance to get 5, but it's still super, super rare. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly, um heal my guy. I don't want to also get weakened there. And I, we do actually have power fruits, which I forgot about. Uh, medicine. Use on Sleeper Boy. And let's actually use another one, because um, they're pretty weak, I'm not gonna lie. Okay then. Here's another guy. So I'm also gonna run through all of these really quickly. I don't think any of them should really cause any problems, except from the boss one. That one's gonna be um, a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Hi there, Scarb. How's it going, man? I'm gonna click Boulder Blast. We did level up, Plo. I will take a level up. Stop bashing me, man. Go down, please. Hit. I, I hit. I hit my RNG sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Just hit. Just KO me in one turn, man. Easy, okay? He, I take less damage. I don't have to spam potions on you all the time, okay? And we still get XP, which. I mean, it's actually a decent amount right now, I'm not going to lie. A scarb. guess what we're going to do? We're going to do the same thing, and it's not going to get one shards. So we have to like hit it at least four times, I think, to actually get the KO. I mean, and there... <laughs> you can't make this up, bro. Please, sleepy boy, help. One, two, three. I'm using Muspar because Muspar can't miss okay, but Muspar does also way less damage, so that's why I'm not really using it. Bruh, I, I I actually can't make this up, okay? I really can't. Anyway, let's go into the locker room because we need the key. Um, Poochrol. Oh, I forgot about you. Dang it. K. 
key. Uh, hopefully Border Blast is enough to KO you learn. Chomp. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you. I mean, this one's also way weaker, like, melee defense-wise than Scar, but still... It's so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Plus, it is quad weak to um, electric as... Uh, no. Quad weak to met... Uh, it's metal and electric, so it's quad weak to earth, is what I'm trying to say. Let's get heal again, because I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of scary. Anyway. Into here. Let's also go get the, um... The card that we need. Dang it. Well, there's a skull. We might as well KO it, because we do need the parts anyway, which is... I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be here for a while just trying to collect parts, so we might level up a lot of our stuff. We might be able to level up everything on our team to, like, level 33, honestly. Like, everything that, it, that we own, we might be able to level up. We'll have to see, I guess. Nice. So, obviously... Because I'm gonna use... I'm, I'm gonna rally Fire Breath onto my Kray Troll. There is a chance that I might rally something by accident. Obviously, we're going to keep it. We're also just going to get rid of it because we're not allowed to rally new stuff. That's not um, illegal, okay? It's against the rules. But now we have that one. Um, we can also go back now. Okay, there's another scarb. I'm fine with this, okay? I'm fine. Please. Uh, go down. I mean, these are like 10 levels below the NPC one, which I am fine with, okay? This will get like, what, 100 XP at the very least, right? It's not... Yeah, like 170. It's, not, it's gonna take us a while to level up, but we have to KO a lot of these if I want to get lucky enough to, like, get all of the paths to evolve my Scarb into Gardrone. And then on top of that, to get Fire Breath. So, yeah, we're gonna be here for a while, it looks like. Do you battle this person? The... Okay, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. I want to run away, because also we're gonna be battling a lot of these off-camera anyway. So, yeah, but we might as well KO them. Like, the more I KO now, the better, okay? We can actually get a boost token, so that could be kind of cool. Okay, there we are. Go up to scrap metal. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Okay, you don't battle. I'm going to go get the boost token. There's no reason why not to really. And we actually might as well start, like, writing down the code, I guess. Well, although we don't really need so. Because, I mean, we can always come back for it later. Boost token, please. Thank you. Now we actually have three boost tokens, which... I'm probably still going to save. There's no point in really me using them right now for anything, so we will save them. Okay, then, let me just quickly make sure. Sleeper Boy is, like, kind of full health. Because I'm pretty sure there's three people in here. There's two normal grunts, which we can also just beat straight away. And then also we have to battle... Okay, I ran away from that by accident. Oops. Um, and then there is the boss, which we're definitely going to want to heal on for that. Right? Or am I wrong? No, I'm right. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully, this goes pretty down well. There's a scob, nice. Level 29, very nice, obviously, very nice. Please just go down. Please. Ow, he critical hitting me. I hate you, scob. I hate you. I hate my RNG. I hate it so much. I actually hate it so much. And then I only hit twice. I, 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 I wish I could. I wish I was making this up, honestly. I really wish I was. I wish I could hit more than two border blasts consistently. But it's either I miss, I hit two, maybe three, if I'm lucky enough. <laughs> My luck is trash, man. Why is it trash? Help, Scarb. Okay. Is this your last one, or do you have another, another one? You have another one, dang it. Okay. Looks like we might actually have to heal, and we actually might need to go back to Sephiroth and get some more healing potions. I mean, I know I'm hasty, okay? I know I am. But still. But still. It's got more chances to hit than not to hit. How am I missing all of them? Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, would you look at that? Only three. Have I even hit a four? I don't know if I've e ever hit four using this, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm really hoping that he has Poochrol as his last Lumion, and then I can just, like, one-shot it without, like, having to wait, because we're losing quite a lot of health from just Scorbs, because we've missed, or we don't do enough damage to, like, get rid of it quickly. Level up, nice. A little bit more health, and also Sleepy Boy is actually pretty close to that, um, 33, so we might actually swap it out soon. And also, if we don't miss, this should get one-shots. 
Quick pounce, easy damage, easy. Oh, that did seven, nice. One, two. Oh my gosh, we actually hit three. I, I can't believe it. We actually hit three in a row. I can't believe it. Yeah, we actually got, we have to heal. We're actually, surprisingly, Scobs are hitting us for quite a bit of damage. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that. I don't like that, okay. Let's quickly go and um, heal my sleepy boy. A very nice, actually might as well use all of them. Like, basically all of them. I have one more. I feel like I shouldn't battle this guy without getting more of them, but I think we should be fine. I mean, we can use, um, oh, I'm pretty sure he has a hunter. I have an eyelash in my eye, I can feel it, which sucks. I'll wait a second long until we beat the um, NPCs. So, I'm probably going to use my starter to beat the Scobs, I think. I think that's the best idea. And then if we see a Poochrol, we go into Sleepy Boy. I think that's the best play, right? Go for a Mud Spatter. Actually, we'll go for Chomp, because this isn't... This still can miss, but it'll take it out from here, I think. Alright, it should. Plus, melee attack. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm using Border Blast. It's a range attack, not a melee attack. I think I said earlier that it has Scob has um more melee defenses than a Poochrol. No, it has more range defense. I'm not too sure about melee defense. Also, I'm going to click Border Blast here. Please don't miss. Please. Precision Ball. Nice one, man. Nice click. Very nice. Okay, nice. Close to a two-shot, but actually not a two-shot. Dang, that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> How does it not two-shot? What? Okay, 300 XP, easy man, very nice. Okay, is that it? Yep, that guy only had two. I like that man. Okay, um, do we need to heal anything? Nah, I don't think we do. We're gonna use Bobozo first, because I don't think he starts off with Hunter. At least I'm really hoping he doesn't. Really, really hoping he doesn't start off with Hunter. If we are, then that might be a problem, because, yeah. It is Valens, okay. I don't think it has an electric type move. Yet, so I'm just gonna go in and water bomb it. I think it still has bash because that's the only level. Yeah, bash is the only level up move that Scob's entire evolution line gets. So, eh, so it's kind of like easy down here. I feel like they should have been given like some more moves because they, they only have bash and not exactly like that challenging. What's our second Lumi? Is it Nulla Valens or does it go Poochrol and then Hunter? Pretty sure they have Hunter, I just don't remember when. 600 XP, nice. So Bubbles, I like, can get one more level, and I can't level up anymore, otherwise it'll evolve. Null of Aliens, we'll take this one out, and then we'll go into um, our... That's a cool um, sound. I actually don't think I've heard Valens up before. That's cool. Oh, that isn't doing any damage, dang. We're gonna actually go for a wait. But yeah, after this one, I think Lenit's Hunter, and we'll go into also our Sleepy Boy. We should be able to take it out. Yo, that is fair damage. Nice. Stop critical hitting me, bro. That's not fun. Um, yeah, we have to go for a wait here, it looks like. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. I really don't want to fight the Protocon right now, man. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, see you later. Water bomb. Easy peasy. Okay, and now it's Poochrol, right? Or, or is it Hunter that was right? Is it Hunter? It is Hunter, okay. Yes. Let's go into Sleepy Boy. I don't think we'll get one shotted. We might get two shotted, which would be very, very scary. Very scary. But I don't think he has any he has an electric move. I think it's precision bolt. Don't think he has anything else that can really hit me hard though, so we're gonna border blast straight away. He's gonna go for precision bolt. Got him. This is your right. Free. Still no far, but oh well. Oh well, okay, well I'm just gonna go for the mud but I don't wanna miss, okay, sharpen, that's kinda scary though, I don't like that, please don't do that, stop doing that, go away, and it's gone, so there we are, we beat the boss, so also go press that button, we'll grind to evolve also Scob into the final evolution, there are more NPCs, but we can do with those lights, because I think there's like, two more, and we aren't really gonna get any levels off of those, so we'll do loads of later, I just want to do the boss one first, so anyway, See you later, don't care about your text, okay? Let me press the button, please. No, 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 no. I don't I don't want to press it, bro. I don't want to press it. <laughs> okay, anyway, 
I'll be back okay. I am going to level up my Lumians. I'm also going to be killing a lot of Scobs. So I can try and um, evolve my Scob. I can get Fire Breath. And then I can give it to my Kray Troll. And hopefully Kray Troll can one-shot Protogon. That's the goal. Really, really hoping it does. But anyway, I'll be back in a second. Okay then, we're back. I have two power calls. I forgot what I need for Valens to evolve, but also we can now actually go ahead and evolve Scorb into Valens. Um, I've been trying to like, wait. I, I got a power call, I was like, okay. I gotta wait now, because also the, the dogs are just non-stop barking. <laughs> like, freaking so loud. So I'm like, okay, please, please, please. Half an hour later, I can they like, finally shut up, so I can record it. And also now, we can evolve Scob into Valens, and also we might as well go um, for the final evolution, because I want to get Fire Breath. And we actually have, like, one of every type of the, um, or not the power calls, the other one, that's like the elemental ones. So we can basically get Thunder Strike, Flamethrower, and um, Frost Breath. So there's Valens. What do I need, then, for the other one? Do I, do I want Metal Blast right now? What, what would Metal Blast do for me? Not really anything, so I don't really need it yet. What do I need to, to evolve it? Oh, I need a Quantum Core now. And I need three Power Cores, okay. I'm going to be here for a while, it looks like, Len. So I can get Precision Bolts. I mean, yeah, Mind's Eye, Eerie Stare. I mean, Sleet Shot's fine. Raging Flame would be a pretty good one, I guess, to get for, like, Mutagon, potentially. Although, I don't want to stay in also against a... A mega punch. So also, I'm gonna try and get a lot of stuff now, so I'm gonna be here probably for a while. So back to grinding, I guess. Okay, we're back. We can finally evolve um, Valens now into a Galdron, and obviously, I'm pretty sure we have enough things to get Fire Breath, Thunder Strike, and Frost Beam. We only really need Fire Breath, but we might as well get all of them, obviously, because I mean, hey, might as well have them all right, because I can also like. Uh, rally them to other things because I don't remember if Gecklo gets Thunderstrike. I think that's also a rally move, so we could get Gecklo and give that Thunderstrike. And then we also get a bit more mastery done, which is very nice. We've got uh, medium meds. Okay, we definitely need to go buy some of those because I don't actually have any of those. So yeah, but there we are. And we've got some more hyper So yeah, we definitely need medium meds. I'm so glad I got that. And let's also go ahead. Let me just. I'm really hoping I have enough, because I don't actually remember what I need for it. So, on Fire Breath. Oh, is it power? Oh, it's a power car. So I only can get one, then. We're just going to go for Fire Breath right now. We only need Fire Breath. Um, and I think I actually just learned it straight away, because it only has Bash. So, that should be good, right? Okay, we have it. Now, we can get out of here, okay? Um, so, right now... Um, we still need to go level up, obviously, so I guess we could stay here a bit longer, like, try and get some more moves, sorry, but for now, I think we should be fine with just Fire Breath, we can still beat Prologan with just Fire Breath. Sleepy Boy leveled up, all Sleepy Balls is very close to level 33, so now we're just gonna, like, get Kray Troll to, like, level 33, have it on the same playing field, obviously, as, um, as Prologan, and I think we should be good. Although, there's one issue, obviously, um, the Corrupteds get like plus one stats i don't remember or not low if for some reason protogun gets plus two because there was talk about like saying oh protogun might be a little bit too weak well originally protogun was actually like level 38 i think like it was very close to like level 40 and i will we're, we're like doing like test runs okay might be a bit too difficult so we got lower the level oh i think it might have been like we, we might have gave it plus two rather than plus one. I don't remember if we actually did that or not. Um, let me quickly go ahead and heal. No reason why not to. And also let's buy some medium meds because there's literally no reason why we shouldn't buy medium meds right here. Because we have them. Also, I only have like one small potion. So there we are. They give us 50 health as well. Let's buy like 10 of them. That's pretty expensive, but we have enough money, obviously. We beat a lot of trainers up. Um, and then, let me have a quick look. So, also, we have to go to the Battle Coliseum, remove Spare, I guess. I guess we could remove Singe. We don't really need Singe, to be honest. How much health do I... Okay, so 50 is, like, more than half of Kratos' health right now. Dang, yeah. Those medium meds are gonna come in so handy. It's basically, like, all of my health. Sleep is, like, the only Lumen I have right now that can take two, um, medium meds before it's, it's not even full health. So, anyway... Let's go to Battle Coliseum, 
let's remove, um, I guess Singe. I mean, we don't really need Spare, to be honest. But I can use it to also make it a little bit easier to catch something. But I don't really know if we really would need Singe. But also, also this doesn't actually cost anything to delete moves. It's just like I actually have to come here to delete something, which is a little eh. I can't move your learner or anything. Um, because also we can get combat points, so hopefully later in the game, if we get like some sort of form to actually get combat points without spending Robux on them, because as you can tell, um, we have free. Wait, how do we have free? How do I have free? I don't know how I have. I must be like before I did the um, hard card challenge, then I just have it on some of my accounts, so I must have used it as like a test for something. So yeah, anyway. Now we can go back to adventure modes. So, eh, it's up to you guys. Like, if you want to like be able to like buy combat points for yourself to like use them. Because I mean, technically, like if you're playing free to play, you can't get them unless you battle. Which also, if you're doing hard to play, you probably don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not gonna use the um, the movie learner. Or actually, no, we did use the movie learner. But I'm trying to think what it was on. I don't think it was, I don't know if it was during the hardcore challenge though, I don't exactly remember to be honest. Um, it might have been Singe on Cray Troll, I don't exactly remember because I think there was a glitch where it, it just didn't get Singe. That might be it that I'm thinking of, I, th I think I'm going to allow that one honestly because I think it was actually a glitch and it couldn't actually get Singe normally. So yeah, anyway, let's go to... Um, Highwood now, because I also got a Railer. Wait, Highwood? I haven't talked... I haven't talked to the Rally guy, so I don't have the Teleport for that, do I? I don't have Rally Ranch Teleport. Well, that's fine, because we can go there right now. So, that's gonna be a very good. So yeah, we just need to put my Cray Troll and my Gadron in there. Which, by the way, Gadron still doesn't have a, a nickname also, because I've only just caught it. But hey, it's uh, my second fully evolved Lumion. And we only just got it, but also it doesn't require any levels, so I mean, that's pretty easy to get, obviously. Okay, let's go this way. And here we are. What's up, man? Oh, I feel like I gotta talk to him. No, just... Get through it, okay. We already know how the rally works, man. We already know how it works. So yeah, we are allowed to use this, okay, because we're not rallying anything. We're just movie learning. Plus, we actually do have some toys as well. Nice. Don't have any totems though. So now we basically just have to like leave them in here for like a, a minute or two. And Cray Troll should learn Fire Breath, so I'll be back in another minute. Okay, Lynn, and there we are. I'll just also go went back to my uh, VIP server and it had it straight away as soon as I launched the game, so that was pretty quick, I guess. But those, now we have Fire Breath, one of the strongest fire type moves, and we have Volcanic, which is gonna be super good. I'm probably gonna have to like I, I think I should power focus before I click Fire Breath. I just gotta really hope that Kratol can take a hit, which also is defensive low, so I'm probably gonna give Kratol the drop of view to try and make it as bulky as possible, power focus on fire breath, and just hope that it one shots, otherwise they're gonna be in trouble. So yeah, like I was saying, I did use combat points, and I remember now it was during the, um, it was during the, what you call it, uh, hardcore challenge. But the only reason why I did it was because Kratrol actually was glitched in the Luma, in the in the documents uh, or like the, the game. It was meant to learn Singe at like a pretty low level, although I made an error and I put like I think a comma or somewhere in it, um, which means also it didn't actually learn it unless like you movie learned it. So that's why. I bought um, combat points was to learn it since because it was meant to have it. Also, I'm, I'm dumb. But also, now in the game, that is fixed. So, you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, low. Now, I'm going to go to um, Jenna and also level up. So, I'll be back, I guess, when we get our team to level 33, which uh, will probably take us a while. Which, we're only going to get, like, these two to 33. We don't really... I'm probably not going to use these three anyway. So, yeah. I'll be back again now in a second. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I better get another one, also better get Avatross. I accidentally leveled up freaking uh, Bubbles to level 34, because I'm dumb. I just kept clicking, yeah, just click fight, click sleet shot. So I accidentally leveled up to 34. 
I tried leaving to rejoin just before I got to level 34. Yeah, it, it didn't really work. So, yeah, I gotta level up Bubbles now to 35 to evolve it. But right now, also, we're not gonna do that now. I'd wanna keep it as a pure water type in case I need to use it for the um, Proto Gun. Anyway, Nosedive. I really don't want Nosedive, but I think I should take it anyway. Let's get rid of. I wanna say Air Whip. Yeah, let's get rid of... Actually, let's be honest. We're not going to use... We don't need Gust. No one's going to use freaking Icicle Traps in Adventure Mode. So let's just get rid of Gust. So there we are. So there is Avatross. So now, go basically just level up these two a little bit more. We're really, really close. And then we'll also go fight the Protagon. Okay, Ellen, we are back. We've got everything level 33, basically. Except for also Skittles, because we don't really need, like... We're not really going to be using Skittles anyway, so I don't really need to, like, do that. Also, these two I'm not going to be using in the battle. I have Kray Troll. I also gave it the uh, drop of view, because I'm going to be using this to try and beat the Protagon. Hopefully it goes well. And I actually completely forgot for a second that also since I was doing Jenna, you get melee defense. I'm pretty sure from the Terrorfly. Yeah, that was almost a big rip. As you can tell, that my melee defense is literally one stat lower than my range defense. If I got, like, a couple more TPs for melee defense, my melee defense stat would actually be higher than my range defense, so the protocol would actually get a range attack bonus, so I am really, really lucky, because also, like, I don't have resets, so I should have, like, TP trained a little bit, because I have gummies for range defense left over that I also haven't used. I, sh I could have used those on the chart, the Kratol, just, like, guarantee that I don't also um, have my melee defense just slightly go above my range defense. So I'm so glad. So when we battle the um, Protagon, it should hopefully get a melee attack bonus, not a range attack bonus. If it gets a range attack bonus, we are probably going to get swept really, really bad, which is also not good. So, since it's level 33, it doesn't get... I don't think it gets Dart Burst. I think Dart Burst is level 33 on it. I could be wrong, though. So, I'm actually... Oh, I don't remember. I, it might be Metal Boss I'm forgetting. I know it doesn't... It gets, like, Energy Surge, the Light-type move. It gets the Power Siphon, I'm pretty sure. It gets... One metal move and then Ancient Instinct, I'm pretty sure. Unless, unless it's Ancient Instinct that's all 33. I don't remember exactly, but all I know is that it shouldn't be able to hit me too hard unless it uses its, its Light-type move. And that's the hardest that it's going to hit is the Light-type move. So as long as it doesn't one-shot me, which it shouldn't be able to one-shot me because also I have um, the drop of youth. So we technically should be good. Hopefully. I don't really know. I just got to hope for the best. But if Kray Troll, if Kray Troll can one-shot it, bro, Kray Troll, literally, best Illumium, bro, literally. Okay, here we are. Just go for the, uh, Fire Breath. That's also kind of weird as well, actually, thinking about that. Kray Troll literally has arms. Although, when it evolves into Crackalow, it loses its arms, and it got big, chunky legs that, um, just magically disappear sometimes. Um, and then, also, Volklaw is kind of weird as well. So, Kray Troll's a weird evolution line, like, thinking about it. Like, look at this thing. Why does it lose its arms when you um, evolve it? Kind of weird. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to quickly pull out Kray Troll, because if, if we go into the cutscene, I'm pretty sure we battle... Is there another NPC? There isn't. So, yeah. I mean, look, look at it! <laughs> so, um, I'm pretty sure as soon as we go in here now, we battle... Um, Kray Troll has 102 health. I just really gotta hope that it tanks a hit. Unfortunately, we have a um, melee tech as well, a lot of melee tech, but we have Slash, so it's not that bad of an, an issue, I guess. So anyway, let's do this. I don't think we have to battle anyone. I think we just battle Protogon. Another intruder, what am I even playing these guys for? What is it you want? Will you want to take away my latest and possibly greatest discovery? Ha, huh, well, I'm afraid I can't let that happen. Uh, you see, we were just about to perform a test with it. In fact, you're just in time for the show. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, Lynn, we're back. Um, I, I had an order coming. I, I, it said it was coming Saturday, but I guess it come today. Um, I ordered a Elgato green screen months ago. <laughs> it finally turned up, so nice. I'm going to try and set that up after I've done this video, obviously, and just try and play around with it, see if I can... Um, get my webcam doing stuff, which also is going to be great. So anyway, sir, the test is complete. Protagon is showing significant gains in strength. Perfect. Exactly. 
as I had predicted. Now that our creation is at full power, I would like to test it. So I suggest we run some diagnostics first. Its power appears to still be growing. We don't know its limitations yet. I don't know if we can control it. Enough! I'm in charge here. For its first test, Protagon will eliminate the intruder. This kid has seen too much and is and it would be unfortunate to have a nuller witness get away. Yes sir, but once I press this button, Protagon will have full consciousness and act for itself for the first time. Protocols and direct shears have been have haven't been properly tested. Directives? Okay. I give you an order, do not test me, do it now. Sorry sir, activating. Okay. Whew, I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. Come on, great roll! Come on, man! Melee attack rolls. Easy. Okay. I'm gonna go for a power focus first. Because I think we should be able to live the hit, no matter what. Unless it's plus two. There's a dart burst. One, two. Critical hit at me. Okay. So that did 30. And that's resisted. But it is stab as well. Okay. Now, now here's the thing, if I click Fire Breath and it doesn't one-shot it, I might go down. I might. If it clicks Energy Surge... I oh, like that crit really sucks. I want to go for a, a med. I want to just med and hope that he hits me less, I guess. I think that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to med and just hope that they hit me with something else. Okay, energy surge, there we are. That is actually just about 30 as well. Okay, we're clicking it. I'm clicking it, fire breath, power siphon. Okay, that's good, because also it's not going to one-shot me now. Does fire breath one-shot it? Yes! Courage roll coming in clutch, man. Volcanic too strong, man. Volcanic too strong. Well, there we are. We beat Protagon literally one move with the courage roll. Very nice. And we got three more power fruits. Nice, I actually have five. I forgot to use the other ones earlier. So, Kray Troll coming in clutch. Hey, imagine getting one shot by a Kray Troll, man. Easy. And I can find in the wild, which I can't really catch him. I know how this kind of be after all the resources. Well, get wrecked, man. We did it. I beat your Lumino care. I can't let me a child like you ruin my work so easily. So the police are responding to reports about a rogue Lumion that escaped from our facility. I believe they are referring to Protogon. Everyone is going to wonder where that Lumion came from and they will trace it back to us. We don't have that much time to destroy the evidence. If I am caught, I'll be ruined. I have no choice but to flee while I still have time. Guards, go straight to the truck. Yes, sir. You may have defeated my Lumions, but you have not defeated me. Dr. Vanta does not give up on his ambitions. Mark my words, you haven't seen the last of me. Well, easy peasy. I'm actually really glad we one shot that because Cray Troll, if I got like hit by like three, if I, if I got critted there, oh, that would have really sucked. That, of course, it crits me straight away along with Dark Burst. Like, bro, that like scared me because like, that's resisted. Energy Surge will probably do more. It just, it did about the same, honestly, so I'll take it. I can't believe you did all of that. That was incredibly dangerous. You should have. Let me know what you were doing, I could have helped you more. I am glad that everything worked out low, you bested another battle star, collected another piece of the tablet, and even made some new friends by the sound of it. Your mother and I are very proud, for now I think it would be safe if you continued your path through Route 8 and gather any information you can about the stone chunks. I'll keep up my research here at the lab. So else is calling you, or you get another call, I'll let you go for now. Talk to you later champ. Hey Jamie, it's Lucas. Is everything okay? You took off fast after leaving the theatre. We haven't heard from Jake yet either. You did what? So Plute Cop had the p had the so the Plute Cop had the a piece. Okay, that's an error. Had a piece of the big rock, and they were planning to use it to create a super army of Lumians. That's nuts. Lucy, Mabel, and I are glad you are safe. Is it? If that takes care of everything here in Sephiroth, then I think we should get moving on. You're heading to Route 8, we'll meet you there. Until then. And, with that being said, there we are. Another update done for the Hardcore Challenge. I'm also going to leave off here, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Also as well, let me know in the comments down below a nickname for Gardrone. Also, we've fully evolved it now, so also I'll pick that whenever Route 8 comes out, which I can't wait for that one. So with that being said, Trey Troll, Cunning, Clutch, Best Lumion. And also in the next um, episode, whenever Route 8 comes out, we'll probably get Luminami as well, so very nice. So hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.